Fallout 4 is a large game, with a big world to explore, settlements to build, and challenges to complete. Amongst the things you can do though, collecting bobbleheads is one of them. Bobbleheads are small pre-war relics that somehow strengthen your character, granting anything from plain stat boosts to special perks. There are a total of 20 of these little cranium bouncing statues strewn across the commonwealth, and in this video we're going to cover those which raise your 7 special attributes by 1 point each. Before beginning though, it's worth mention that all your special stats are capped at 10, but you can essentially overcharge them. If you pick up a bobblehead when the corresponding special attribute is at 10, you can effectively cheat the system and reap the rewards of having a stat permanently at 11. To be certain, this is an advanced tactic, but one worth considering when it comes to character creation and boosting with bobbleheads. Now with that covered, let's get to the meat of this guide. To start things off, we have the Strength Bobblehead, located inside of the Mass Fusion Building in downtown Boston. The Fusion Building is a decent way northeast of Diamond City, directly south of Bunker Hill, and right around the corner from Good Neighbor. The exact location of this bobblehead is on the top floor inside of the building. Reaching this level can be a bit difficult, as Mass Fusion is home to a full conscript of gunners, though they can be replaced by more friendly faces during the course of the main story. You can find the bobblehead sitting on top of a large statue embedded in the wall. It's on the same floor as the two sets of balcony doors leading back out to the Commonwealth. Hell yeah. Next up is the Perception Bobblehead, located in Concord at the Museum of Freedom. This is the first and most likely bobblehead to find, as it's right down the road from Vault 111 and Sanctuary where you start the game. Finding the bobblehead is pretty straightforward. You'll have to fight your way through the resident raiders of the museum, but in an office on the third floor, you'll find the bobblehead on a desk next to a broken terminal. This is also the same office you meet the Minuteman Preston Garvey and company in. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Now for the Endurance Bobblehead, located at Poseidon Energy, just south of the Adam Katz Garage and east of the Quincy Ruins. Poseidon Energy is both infested with Mirelurks and serves as a raider encampment, so you'll have a fight on your hands in order to claim the prize it holds. There are three access points to the facility, two secured with master level locks located on the roof and ground floor. If you have the lockpick skill to crack open the roof access, you'll enter the facility just a short distance from the top floor office where the Endurance Bobblehead is sitting. In the event you don't have a good enough lockpick skill though, you'll be stuck going in through the drainage access via an underwater pipe on the southeast side of the building. Using this entrance means you'll have to fight your way through both old security bots and mire lurks to climb out of the sublevels. And if that's not enough, you'll also have to hack a novice level terminal to get out of the flooded section and find the higher level access. Then hack another novice level terminal as you emerge from the sublevels. And then pick a novice level lock to begin climbing the ramps to access the offices in the top area. Regardless of how you get to the offices though, you can find the bobblehead in a room with a makeshift throne, sitting on a desk next to a Tesla Science magazine. Excellent. Moving on, we now reach the Charisma Bobblehead, located at Parsons State Insane Asylum, east of the Coastal Cottage and north of the Slog. This bobblehead is easily one of the more tedious to acquire, as the asylum is inaccessible and you only gain access to it during the course of a chain quest. You can begin the chain quest one of several ways. The most direct method, however, is by heading to Cabot House, a building guarded by robots south of Bunker Hill and north of Good Neighbor. When you arrive, don't attack the robots and interact with the intercom outside of the front door. You'll have to pass some low-level speech checks, insisting you want to go inside. It's also possible for the residents to be expecting you though, as you can be recruited for this mission in a few towns and trading hubs. Either way, once you're inside of the house, you'll have a small chat and then be sent away to retrieve a package. After returning with it, you'll be given a second quest to find a missing person. Once you return with information about the individual's whereabouts, you'll finally be tasked with another quest to go inside of the asylum. Yes, it is roundabout to finally gain access, but once you're inside of Parsons State, you'll find the Charisma Bobblehead easily enough, as the quest has you heading to the office it's located in. Specifically, it's sitting on a desk next to a functioning computer terminal, in the same room with the elevator. Hell yeah. Now it's time for the Intelligence Bobblehead, located at the Boston Public Library, which is just east of Diamond City. The library has two entrances, the first and easiest one found on the west side of the building. 
This door has an advanced lock on it, but by passing an easy speech check via the intercom next to it, you can not only get inside, but also bypass security. If you get in through this route, just watch for traps and pop into the room to your left, beyond which is the mainframe room where you can find the bobblehead. The second route inside has the exact same locks on it, but is accessed through the subway station on the north side of the building. If you go in through the subway by picking the advanced lock or passing the same speech check, you want to hang a left after entering the library and ascending the stairs. Follow the hall and turn right as it does. When you reach a room with a book return terminal, turn right again through one of two sets of double doors. Hop past the embattlements with robots and turrets and through the single door on the opposite wall. In the preceding room, you'll find the prize. Be advised though, no matter how you get inside, once you enter the control room, a series of super mutants will begin to pour into the library for you to deal with on your way out. Which is one of the reasons it's a good idea to pass the speech check, as if you do, the security will fight for you. The next sequential bobblehead to find is the Agility Bobblehead, located at the wreck of the FMS North Star, east of the previously mentioned Poseidon Energy and south of the Warwick Homestead. You'll have to enter the wrecked ship via holes in its hull, then use containers on the east end to go to the upper deck, handling both Meyer Lurks below and Raiders above as you go. Once the opposition has been dealt with, though, you can find the agility bobblehead at the west end of the ship, right next to a lifeboat that's rigged up as a quick access elevator. There we go. Last, but most certainly not least, is the luck bobblehead, located on Spectacle Island a literal island off the coast northeast of the previous FMS North Star. This collectible is one of the absolute easiest to acquire, as you only need to swim out to the island and find a small boat off the southern shore. It's inside the little aquatic vessel on the top deck in a locker that you'll find the four-leaf clover toting statue. It is worth mentioning though that the boat functions as a special generator for the island. If you should decide to turn it and the system it powers on, be prepared for a dangerous surprise. Perfect. That's all the special bobbleheads found in the Commonwealth. But before ending, there's a critical addendum to mention. At Sanctuary, in the ruins of your old house, inside of the nursery, you can find a unique book called Your Special, which is a small Easter egg from Fallout 3 character creation. This children's book allows you to add a single point to any one of your special attributes that's lower than 10. Though not an actual bobblehead, it does carry the same effect, albeit in a more flexible manner, and is worth seeking out for obvious reasons. We've only just scratched the surface though, as there are still more bobbleheads to find which grant special perks. To learn more about them, however, you'll have to check out the other Fallout 4 bobblehead guides. Thanks for watching and listening. I'm William Strife, and I'll see you later.